These are the masters of speed. This is Formula One. Yo, welcome to Baku. It's another F2 setup. Let's go. So we're starting P2 around Baku. Let's go. The starts that you can get from these F2 cars are unreal. And I mean that, they are absolutely crazy. However, Baku is not a circuit to be messed with. And I mean that sincerely. Do not mess with Baku, or otherwise Baku will absolutely annihilate you. And this deer doesn't seem to be so bad around this circuit, although this they've replaced the understeer around this circuit with traction. Traction is very, very tricky around here. So you need to make sure you get right. And again, I only speak into um, traction control, in, uh, those that you don't use traction control. I mean, if you use traction control, that's fine. But yeah, for those of you who don't use traction control, the circuit is very very tricky you need to make sure that you keep it all tight with your inputs watch this sausage curve if you hit the middle of that sausage curve you can beat yourself so again go careful the only sets of corners that you can't take flat out because of the understeer is those two sets of corners but there, I probably will hit it, you know what I mean? But yeah, like I said, the setup works absolutely fine for me. But don't be afraid to chop and change. Try not to get on that sausage curve there at turn one. it will uh, tip you into the wall that juts out a little bit and you will lose an end plate nobody wants to lose an end plate right obviously when fighting with the AI because this is what I'm racing against unfortunately the AI are very fast in straight lines there is absolutely no getting away from that nothing you can do about it However, because this circuit has a lot more corners in it than straights, you can build the gap during the corners as the AI are not very good cornering at all. So yeah, bit of understeer there, I didn't want to turn in. Gotta be careful of that uh, little. It's not a curb, it's a road marking, it's just to show it's a corner. Sometimes, if you get too tight, the car will bounce off there, especially in uh, high tire way. Gotta take it that corner as well, go set the corners gently because you don't want to be pushed into the wall on the outside you lose a wheel obviously the guys in front or behind sorry they've got slipstream so they can go a lot faster than what I can because obviously I'm punching a hole through the air Whereas they are just following the cars behind. You can see how quick the AI are in the straights. They just gain so much, but then I gain it all back. 
in the corners. Baku is so enjoyable about the drive in these F2 cars. Yes, it throws up its own trials and tribulations, but this is why I like creating setups because you can really see progress. And you know, when you get a faster slap, and, and I just really enjoy it. Gone green, green. Don't think it's going to be fastest lap because again, obviously, they're going to have um, slipstream and they'll have DRS next lap. But yeah, I think I'm far enough away from those now. Battling at the start. That must have been some lap from Fittipaldi because I just did a 55.9 and yeah again it's not about the fastest lap it's not even about winning it's about showing you what the setup can do showing you how the cars react, behave and just giving you as many tips as I can absolutely give you You know, the only assist I run is line only. Um, I've been saying it for years that I'm going to get off line only, but it's having the time and committing to it. And I am going to commit to it Monday. And unfortunately, not today. I think I'm going to wait for the new game now. And then just go mad, just go nuts. Because running no assists, it might not seem like it, but trust me, running no assists will make you faster. There is a lot to take in. But when you absolutely get nailed, you will reap the benefits. Understand the I had to lift off. Obviously, with the cars behind battling, I'm able to pull away into the sunset. And this is why I said a few laps ago about um, the AI not being as strong in the corners. Okay, you just started the final lap of the race. Final lap. And even though it's, you know, you average. 156, 157 a lap around here. It absolutely flies by because you have to concentrate so much because of the understeer, because of um, traction. You know, if you ain't switched on around Baku, around any street circuit really, you're gonna end up in a wall. And nobody wants to end up in a wall, right? I just, and that's another thing that while well, I love doing it is just getting these setups, making these setups, and just getting absolutely lost a lap after lap after lap. Where the concentration levels are so high, you just seem to switch off, and even though you're switched on, there's just nothing else. It's just nothing else, nothing better, and that's why I like racing, especially in F1. But obviously, this has been the Baku setup. Obviously, the setup comes next. I really hope it helps. Would love to hear from you guys what you think of it. If you guys can improve it, feel free, as we all drive differently. The main thing is, I hope it helps. 
do all that good stuff. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. This has been Baku. And then, uh, yeah. I think it's Imola next, is it? Not sure. But take care. So another fantastic victory for ART today. And I have to wonder, Davide Valsecchi, just what set them apart from the competition here? This race, this win, was about one thing and one thing only. Consistency. Anyone can be quick for just one lap. But there's a difference between that and being quick every lap, over and over and over. If you can do that, if you can gain ground when your opponents make mistakes, but then not make mistakes on your own, you can just push and push. ART, the French team who have been racing since the 90s in various forms of motorsport, are once again back on the winner's podium today after a brilliant display of driving skill. And now, Davide Valsecchi, let me ask you, who is your driver of the day? Difficult call, but I'd like to say Theo Purcher. He's just so gifted at getting the most out of the tires, and he showed that today. And after all that excitement, I think it's time for a lie down. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you when Formula 2 returns. Back who set up then? This is what I've gone with, and again, I hope this helps. So. Baku is a circuit, obviously it's a street circuit, it's uh, extremely difficult and attraction and yeah, it's a difficult circuit nonetheless because if you lose traction, you're going to end up in a wall, simple as. And again, I am, I'm only speaking to those guys who use no traction rather than using the assist traction. So yeah, this is what I've gone with, I've gone with 28 on the front, 24 on the rear um, and it helps. Listen, you can bring this down, take this down. I wouldn't go any lower than that, but for this um, and stability wise and everything else, this is why I've gone with. I've gone with 28 on the front and 24 on the rear. Look, it helps, but again, this is a setup that I'm sharing with you guys. So tweak it, change it, do whatever it is you like to the setup. Uh, and I hope we can help. You probably could run a 2620 or a 2622, um, but yeah, for this video and for the stability and everything else, I've gone with 28 to 24. On to the transmission, I've gone with 80 20. Again, you can run 60 40 if you like. I wouldn't go uh, down any further, but again, for this, I, I probably would run 60 40. But for this, I've gone with 80-20. Um, uh, it helps, it, it works. But again, is this is a setup for me. Like I made this out, the setup works very well for me. And again, if I had uh, a league race, I would run the setup that I've created right here. But for you guys, we all drive differently. We do, so you know, chop and change things, make it your own. All right, the suspension geometry. I've gone with uh, right, full right. You can take it down one or two if you want, but again, for me, this is what works. I've gone with minus 1.1. I've gone with 0 0.03 and then 0 0.14. Uh, again, it, it helps, it really do, but traction around this circuit is extremely difficult. The circuit, even though the understeer is still very much there, um, it seems not too bad on this circuit which is strange for some reason unless I'm just not pushing hard enough uh, but it is there on the suspension then I've gone with uh, 28 on the front suspension I've gone with uh, 21 on the rear suspension again with the front suspension you could take it up to 30 31 32 maybe drop this down it's, it's all changes that, that you guys can make and don't be afraid you know you've got the base setup if you make a change and it doesn't work oh well revert back to the base setup and go the opposite way onto the roll bars i've gone with 12 on the front and eight on the rear again you could probably drop that on the six take this up to 14 either way make it your own make it your own and again on to the ride out if you were going to stay off the curbs if you're not touching the curbs at all take this down you could probably get away with running a 32-33 around you, but because 
of the understeer, I found that uh, there is a big sausage curb uh, on the downhill uh, at the end of sector two. Uh, there's a big sausage curb on the right hand side. So I just put 35, 33, 33, 35, just to avoid that. And it's, again, it seems to work well for me. Onto the brakes then, going 56%. And this only applies to ABS off users. Um, there are some heavy braking zones, but again, if you find you're locking the rears, um, 56 isn't enough, take it up, 57, 58. I chop and change throughout the race, uh, depending on the coming corner, but I found 56 is uh, all round well um, and does the job for me. Onto the tyres then, uh, remember that you've got the long straight at Baku and wherever you find the long straight, you find that the tyres are cooling down because simply they're just not going around the corner. If you need more grip at the tyres, take them up. If you want less grip, take them down. Um, but I found 24 and 21.7 works well for me around here. Baku is a tricky circuit. It's a very much... Um, find that the rear tires go off very very quickly but yeah if you find that uh, your rears are overheating um, obviously your wheel spinning a lot just take the temperatures down by one or two clicks down to 21.5 and you should should be absolutely fine this has been back you I really hope this setup helps um, let me know what you think of it in the comments below honestly I love hearing from you whether it's good or bad simply because um, every time that somebody points out a fault with the setup uh, it makes me want to dive deeper into it uh, and try to perfect it and try to get even better -er -er -er. even better -er -er is not a word if you know what I mean but yeah um, would love to hear from you do all that good stuff hit the like button hit the subscribe button thanks guys really appreciate it I'll see you in the next one take care Peace.